Hi everybody. Sorry I haven't been really uploading a lot of videos lately. Um, work's been fairly busy which is a good thing. Um, but I am working on more videos for uh, PHP and uh, JavaScript so you should see those um, posted sometime soon. Um, but I wanted to take just a moment to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. Um, and that's what do I know about the um, upcoming release of Dreamweaver CS6, the new version of Dreamweaver that people are expecting out fairly shortly in the Creative Suite 6 package. Unfortunately, beyond generalities, we don't know a whole lot about what to expect um, in the Dreamweaver CS6 release. Adobe's been kind of um, tight-lipped on um, what to expect. We do know some uh, generalities though about it and we do know some things about the Creative Suite package as a whole um, and how it's going to be released um, and from that we can infer some information um, about Dreamweaver. As far as um, a specific release date goes, um, Adobe again hasn't announced anything to us and they usually wait um, to announce a new product till about 30 days before um, the product is actually available to purchase. Um, so they don't give consumers a whole lot of um, extra notice. If you um, decide to purchase Dreamweaver and they release um, a new version usually within about 60 days, a lot of times Adobe will give you um, a free um, upgrade to the new version but again that's just going from past history we really don't know um, a lot about um, what Adobe is going to do this time um, around. We know from earlier financial disclosure documents that they said that they were going to have a significant release in the um, late second quarter of 2012. So from that most people have inferred that Creative Suite will become available sometime the end of May or during the month of uh, June. But again that's just what people um, are inferring from uh, other things that they've read and from these um, financial disclosure documents. Adobe could very well delay um, the release of CS6 for um, a little bit. But it has been going on about two years since they've released um, a major upgrade, uh, CS5. Um, so we can uh, probably expect it to come out fairly um, soon. I have no idea if there'll be a public beta for Dreamweaver CS6. There is a closed public beta for um, Photoshop CS6. Uh, but Adobe hasn't said anything to uh, my knowledge about um, Dreamweaver CS6. One new thing that consumers are going to be able to do with um, this release of uh, Creative Suite 6 and I assume uh, Dreamweaver CS6 also is instead of um, out and out purchasing the software as people have done um, in the past you're now going to be able to pay a monthly subscription fee where you pay Adobe uh, a monthly fee for using whatever software um, in their collection um, that you um, have subscribed to. So um, theoretically you could subscribe to um, I suppose just Dreamweaver CS6 or you could subscribe to one of their packages like uh, Master Collection or Design Premium. So probably for a lot of people if um, they're interested in something large like Master Collection um, and they don't want to come up with um, just that whole lump sum all at once to purchase it, um, they can subscribe to it and maybe get access to that software. Um, a lot of people have been um, kind of disturbed about this subscription service. Um, and It's kind of worth noting that um, Adobe has not said um, that they're taking away the purchasing option. They're just adding this um, on so that you can uh, that you have the additional option and uh, they've said that they don't have any intention of taking the option to purchase their software um, away so um, we can um, um, just consider that another way of getting a hold of uh, Dreamweaver or Creative Suite 6. Either way if you have um, access to um, purchasing um, Creative Suite 6 at the educators discount either because you um, work or enrolled in a school or community college 
um, the education discount is still going to be the best deal for um, purchasing Adobe's um, software. And a lot of people sign up for uh, just a simple community college class for no other reason other than to purchase the software at that discount. As far as new features in Dreamweaver um, CS6 goes, um, again, we don't know a whole lot of specifics, uh, but Adobe has given us some generalities of what they're working on for this new release of um, CS6. Most people are expecting a better um, CSS rule editor in Dreamweaver CS6, and also an updated database and um, bindings um, tool, which is really kind of starting to show um, its age um, quite a bit. And hopefully they're going to um, work on getting some of the um, idiosyncrasies and bugs out of uh, code view in general and uh, making Dreamweaver really a stronger coding um, platform. Most of what uh, people have heard about new features in Dreamweaver CS6 tend to revolve around design view features, but um, I would hope um, with, especially with Flash Builder uh, becoming such a uh, prominent product in the Adobe uh, line that um, they would uh, um, go in and uh, work on the code view inside of Dreamweaver a little bit um, also. Adobe has also promised for the entire Creative Suite 6 um, package uh, better HTML5 support um, and better support for mobile development. Um, and no doubt Dreamweaver will also uh, be playing a large role in that. Um, and really a lot of people have uh, been commenting that um, HTML5 and um, mobile development in general is kind of a make or break moment for Adobe. Um, either they're going to sort of get on the HTML5 bandwagon, which they seem to be, um, or they're going to sort of become one of the um, um, ones great companies um, that were out there. But again, it does seem like Adobe is taking HTML5 and mobile development um, very seriously. Um, and we can look forward to some great things inside of um, Creative Suite 6. Adobe is also releasing a new cloud storage solution um, called Creative Cloud for its uh, Creative Suite 6 um, purchasers, um, which is probably going to be just like um, Microsoft or Google's cloud storage solution, um, but one that hopefully is tailored more towards um, Creative Suite 6 users and that is actually um, integrated well um, into the products. Um, so that'll be a nice thing, uh, or potentially a nice uh, part of Creative Suite 6. And I'll go ahead and I'll try and find out some more about Creative Suite 6 and specifically um, Dreamweaver CS6. And anything I find out, I will um, definitely uh, pass along to you. Um, when Dreamweaver CS6 is released, um, we are going to have a new introduction series of videos um, and some videos specifically focusing on the new and improved features that um, Dreamweaver CS6 offers. And again, I am working on more uh, PHP and JavaScript videos. Um, so uh, look forward to those and I will um, talk to you soon. Have a great day.